Rick. I'm telling you, texting is stupid. You have to actually talk to somebody on the phone. Somebody, you know, hear their emotions, form real human relationships. It's the better way to do things. Oh, okay. I see. You think that texting is better for the environment because it uses less energy. But you know what? When you're texting people all the time, you're misspelling things and using all these weird abbreviations, and nobody even knows what you're talking about half the time. Like that. Like, I don't even know what that means. What does that mean? What are you guys talking about? Oh, Rick over here is, well... Ah, uh, you're trying to figure out if it's better to talk or to text. Yep. Well, you're actually both right. Because texting uses three times less energy than making a phone call, so it's better for the environment. And because you're not holding a phone up to your head, you're not being exposed to any radiation that may prove to be harmful down the line. That being said, there are times to talk and there are times to text. So here are a couple ways to figure out when to do which. Texting is better for really short, brief conversations, like when you're making arrangements with somebody to meet them for dinner. But you don't want to be texting when you're in public because nobody likes sitting at the dinner table with somebody who's stabbing away at their Blackberry. Use talking when you want to talk to your friend about a problem because it's just rude to send them a text in that case. And when you are talking on the phone, it's important to use a headset to limit your exposure to radiation and don't do it while you're driving. Surveys have found that people who are talking on a headset are just as prone to having car accidents as people who are holding onto the phone. Hope that helps. Yeah, thank you. That's good info. For more news and information about 